AJ just molested me, everyone. I'm exposing AJ. <laughs> AJ holds me my virginity back. He, he stole, stole it from it. me. <laughs> Talk about AJ serially grabbing our private parts. Yeah, imagine we make a basis. compilation and then like I just like I make a new YouTube channel and then I just make a video. But it's like we don't even care. It's like yeah. more funny. He grabbed my ass 27 times in 2020. I have it all on film. Yeah. What's he with? Alternator and a battery. Oh. So he could go up more. Did you hook him up with the dash lights? I did. I knew it. Yeah. Those are so bright. Oh, that yeah. stuck out so hard. Yeah, I did that a while ago. I'm like, dude, I started looking. For, look like, at them from way over stuff. here. Yeah, it looks real good. Yeah, and none of those, none of, none of the hard hardware for the cluster was there. So I like yeah. Ryan Bell had a bunch of shit, and I like put screws in his whole thing. Huh? Uh oh. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Don't show him. Cl turn around, close your eyes, he'll grab, grab it for you. for you. You clap my other one, man. What? You owe me $30, man. I didn't even fucking use it. Yeah, you did. Know, you fucking tried to pump up your three-piece wheels and pop this fucking inflator. It didn't work for some fucking reason. You still had a fucking hole in it. it yeah, and you burnt it out. Burnt out the motor, man. So my God. <laughs> you guys are both do for a now. You already... Oh man. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's really funny when we just start like yelling about nothing for oh, no reason. No, he did clap my shit though. I'm no, he really did on this wheel right here. I bought another one. This one was forty-five dollars in hopes that it doesn't. Clap it. Yes, you did, dude. You literally left it plugged in for like thirty minutes. And the fucking fire was at zero. Yeah, yeah because you burned the pump out, out dude. dude. Fuck off. <laughs> it was at zero the whole time. You can't like, take the heat, man. It's thirty fucking dollars. <laughs> I saw him do it, and it was your pump that got fucked. So how now long ago was that? And this is the dude, first time so I'm saying something. Ago. So, like maybe three months ago. When did you use it last? Fucking a month and a half ago, and I'm like, this thing's clapped, dude. I went to <laughs> fucking thing didn't turn on or nothing, man. It was like, you it's a dip. Dip. You definitely yeah. clapped. And he was here, and he's like, yo, oh, he had it on his three piece wheel, and he fucking forgot about it for a half hour, dude. I watched you I do didn't it. Forget about yes, it. Yes, you did, because we both walked up to it, and the motor was making a funny noise. It said zero. Listen, you clapped out my actual compressor, you piece of shit. What the fuck compressor? What actual Changing compressor? Changing all your shitty fucking wheels so you Bullshit. can go fucking spin out at Lock City. Ooh. I don't even know. Oh, your fucking Gange compressor? Shit. You're saying me? Listen, <laughs> fuck you. I don't even mount my own tires. It's someone else doing it for me. So if anybody's clapping out your compressor, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, the free comedy. This fucking thing ain't gonna work. You're gonna blow it the fuck out. Oh, you got a leak already? This pile of shit. Yeah, it's... it's so they said Wait, less is digital, more reliable. Is there a sticker on it, though, that says, do not exceed five minutes of use? Yes. I don't know. Well, don't exceed the fuck. What are you doing? I'm doing a fucking tire. I gotta change this tire. Can we bring it over to the tire machine with that? Can we use that on the tire machine? Wait, what? <laughs> I'm so confused. God. Like, hook up to the Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. Is he serious? <laughs> Who the hell's tire is that? It's off the Nissan Frontier. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you would know. <laughs> Nissan Master it's Tech over machine. here. Oh, I got that. That wood stove came in. We could unbox that. Oh, nice. Yeah. That was great. Yeah. They like one date it. Yeah. Where's what? In in the back of the rav. Yeah. No. Wait, it probably you weighs 40 pounds. Clap it out. Yeah, you gotta clap out the motor. Is it getting hot? Not really. like the electric shut off and all that shit. Oh, the overheat and whatnot. How much air you want in this? I don't know, I gotta blow it up again anyways. Alright, I'm gonna turn it off. Why? Oh. You wanna air it up now? It's like at fucking 10. Yeah. 
This gives me uh, old track vibes right now. <laughs> yeah, middle of the woods though. Yeah, it looks totally. Like, Do these like work? Yeah. Yeah, they work. Like for the duration of the tire okay. life? Yeah, I got a new alternator. Where's the old one? Oh, are you coring it? And the battery. I don't know. I think I might just pay the corner and just keep it. This is a severe back. I'm what thinking. was it? Just not putting out the correct voltage? Yeah, the charging light was kind of coming up. Oh, nice. I also bought a new battery for it, so. Dude, I just, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Shop for rent. <laughs> yeah. We're leaving. <laughs> Here we have the wood stove sponsor. Shout out Cubic Mini Wood Stoves for hooking it up. They're hooking up the off-grid cabin in the woods in Maine. Yeah. They sent me the Cubic Mini Grizzly, as you can see there. Made in Canada. Canadian. Everyone, take a look at that. Made in Canada. It's the good sea, not China. Oh, we got Canada. So, yeah, Cubic Mini hooked it up. Uh, I'm gonna go over some initial thoughts, some initial pros and cons with you guys, because I know that uh, a lot of people are gonna have a lot to say about it. Especially people that live in their mom's basement that comment on YouTube videos uh, with no experience whatsoever. Apparently, I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that 95% uh, of our commenters are wood stove experts. Yeah. Just because I'm gonna get flamed for this. So. Uh, oh well. Styrofoam, oh boy, I already see some gold. Yeah, I got the brass trim one. Dude, that thing is sick! Yeah. Oh, that's kinda I told you guys it was small. Yeah. All right, here it is. Yo, small. The Cubic Ooh. Mini Grizzly, dude. Yeah, Where's like the bottom? It's in one of these boxes. It's like the stand? Yeah. They sent me the is stand, a bunch of piping. It might I think be like a, inside of it. Yeah, there's shit inside of it. I think a couple more boxes are on the way but I really was trying to get this unboxed and show you guys one of the coolest wood stoves. Um, these are made specifically for like van life, tiny homes, schoolie, uh, boats. Cool. Yeah, it says marine stove right on it, dude. They want you to put this thing in a boat. Wow. Peel it? Yeah, peel it. Oh, I what is all this? Oh, the there's the legs, yup. I swear to God, it's like a little warm in here already. It's just like insulated. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Got that fire brick in look there. Look at that thing. Look at these legs. Yeah. Brass legs. There's gotta be hardware somewhere for them, but... Dude, this thing is a cool little thing here. Yeah, let's close that real quick. Let's see what else is in these packages here. We got a lot yeah, of boxes. Yeah, oh, yeah. Piping. All right, so here... As you can see, wow. double walled stove pipe flow up. Look at this. Take a good hard look. Oh, it has like this insert? Yeah, no, it's double walled. Oh, okay, it's two okay. pipes, one inside the other. Interesting. So this is all the piping I need to get out the roof of the cabin. Yeah. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Very interested. I'm gonna give you guys my honest review after this winter, um, but We'll go ahead and we'll address the number one con at the moment that at least half of you are probably thinking. And yes, you have to process the wood more. Oh, oh damn, whoa. dude, little merch pack. Whoa. We got the hat. Cubic mini, dude, I'll definitely rock that. That's like the roof exit kit. Yeah. Oh, beanie, dude. With the light oh, on it? Sick. Oh, damn. That's cool. Pipe cleaning brush. Oh, this is the full brackets. roof exit kit. Oh, wow. This is like the top thing. What yep, brackets. This is to clean the chimney. Oh, Yeah, okay. look, you screw them all together. Yep. And, and you, you could put that on the end, yeah. yeah. All right, wow. all right, this is sick. Then we have this, this exits. This is like past the roof, because yeah. this is way bigger than the other ones. The hats were a nice touch. Yeah. All right, we got one more box. Yeah, one more package. Let's see what's in that one. So far, sick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Crazy how small that little thing well, is. Well, I guess that's one of the cons is its size is you have to cut your firewood smaller, I'm which- sure they make bigger ones though. Right? No, this is Cubic Mini's biggest one. They oh, make wow. one called the Cub that's even smaller than this. This is the, called the Grizzly. Jeez. Yeah, so very nice 
presentation though. This thing is sick. It's very nice and compact. Yeah, it looks really, really nice. Let's see. Oh, that's definitely the base. Oh, look at the little tools, dude. Yeah, look at this. Yes. Mini poker, dude. The mini, mini shovel. shovel. Wow. And then the, the mini grabber. tongs, dude. Yeah. And then we got some other brackets and then yeah this is definitely the base oh so it sits on a base yeah i'll put up a picture right oh, here what? of what this looks what like this? when it's, it's all like set up yeah there's like a door to put your wood in what yeah that's sick yeah it's pretty cool what a cool little rig yeah so shout out cubic mini uh pros really small will warm up small spaces cons you got to cut your firewood even more and i know people are gonna be like that's so dumb why would you want to do that blah 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 look i got nothing but time boys yeah i got nothing but time and it is what it is i'm gonna be cutting my firewood hella small cubic. shout out cubic mini dude you look like russ from the <laughs> on from this angle i have no idea what this looks like uh, I, I don't. On. The camera can't really see it either with All the right. headlamp on. Is it on but it's dim? It's on but dim, yeah. It, is it better on the camera? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Jazzy, you want to wear this while you're working on your car? <laughs> Shout out Cubic Mini. Link in the description to all this stuff. Um, yeah, if you're looking for a stove for a tiny home, just a schoolie conversion. Like a baby. Oh, it's kind of heavy. This thing's like 40 pounds, maybe. Here, hold it over. Compare it to the actual stove. Yeah, Let's yeah, see. Yeah, Can you put that in this stove? <laughs> Will that actually fit in here or is it a little bit too big? Ah, oh, a little bit too yeah, big. A little bit, bit too big. big. Let me get like Yeah. This little guy. Man, that thing. This thing is sick. That thing's really cool. Yeah. But yeah, so we'll go like, I'll, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Look at this. You look like you, you like install these things for a living with that hat yeah, on yeah. and the black hoodie. <laughs> like, Open that up. Yeah, so Open that up. See? Oh yeah. All I have to do with this one is cut, cut it, it cut it right in half. But oh, you just leave it like that. You just it out leave it hanging out the end. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, there will be additional processing that has to be had to make this work. But I've watched a lot of reviews on this stove. And the owners don't actually seem to mind yeah, so. that you just got to cut your wood up a little bit more. But you also have the Mr. Cool. Yes, fact. So, you know, this is like a plan B aesthetic almost. Like, no, I'll use this during the day. Yeah. And like Mr. another con is that you could stuff that completely full and it will still burn out in like an hour. It's right. You'll small, chew through all the yeah, wood. Yeah. Small. So my plan was to run this during the day all day let the solar charge up the Mr. Cool stuff, right? During the yeah. day oh, with yeah, no yeah, load yeah. on it. Yeah. So all that juice is going right back into the batteries. And then midnight rolls around or whatever, I'm getting ready for bed, set the Mr. Cool to 80. Mm -hmm. Whatever I'm trying to sleep and at, 70, 80. Yeah. yeah, and then once this thing fizzles out and the cabin temp drops to where the Mr. Cool will turn on at like one, two in the morning. Yeah, you'll be fine. You know what I mean? I will never have that. to go cold. And I was explaining that I'll have like a hybrid heating system of like yeah, electric wood that's cool so i like this thing a lot it's really cool yeah Definitely. plus like if i were to put this exact stove in the cabin it, it just wouldn't work like that it, it would like get, it would get too it's hot. way too yeah. hot dude yeah. all the windows open the door open it's negative 10 degrees yeah. outside so yeah a wood stove this big although you could make it work you i don't think you could stuff it full dude because that fucking thing gets hot so hot like I We're think I'd melt like, the cabin, dude. Yeah. Like, I'd burn the doors right off of that thing. Burn like the walls down around it. Yeah. Yeah. So it would be really hot. A stove that big, way too big for the cabin. So just once you get this thing like, hot, and then you just like let it just like resonate, kind of thing. You just like tend it all day. And yeah. Then, like I feel like it'll throw out so much heat. Cool little, cool little nice rig. Nice little rig, yeah. Shout out Cubic. Cubic mini wood stoves. Made in Canada, good quality products, none of that Chinese bullshit.